So for the first step, I'm going to be moisturizing my face. And this for me is so important because I actually have super dry skin. Like I used to have eczema and I still kind of have some like on my upper lip. And sometimes even my eyelid can get really dry. So I make sure to create a nice even base for my foundation. If you do have oily skin, I recommend any gel-based moisturizers. I actually really like gel moisturizers better because it doesn't feel as like sticky as normal moisturizers do but since I do have dry skin I need the moisture so this cream that I'm using today is actually like an overnight hydrating cream but it's like the only one that I have that is from like the drugstore or like Ulta I think it was like under ten dollars and this is from formula 10.0.6 it is called the PM perfecter so I'm just gonna apply a very even coat of this moisturizer So next we're going to move on to foundation. When you're starting off with makeup, I definitely recommend any like easy applicator or any powder foundation. Today I'm actually going to try out a new foundation for me. It is the L'Oreal True Mash Lumi Cushion. I've heard a lot about this so I was kind of intrigued and I wanted to try it out. Um, basically it's like a sponge that has like the foundation in it and then you just put this applicator in and like soak it up and then apply it to your face. That's why I wanted to try this one out because it is going to be a fast and easy application. Unlike any liquid foundation, I feel like you would have to sit there blending it in with your beauty blender for like a good three minutes. And if we can save some time, why not? So I am hoping this is my color because they didn't really have that great of a color selection. So we will try it out and see. It's kind of like it's kind of like ashy almost. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm more of like a yellow. Like, I don't know. This was like the darkest one they had, guys. And this is in the color N4 Buff Beige. This is literally the darkest one they had. Okay, so I'm making it an executive decision and I'm just gonna stop this and return it because obviously this is not a good color to my skin. So I do have some drugstore foundations in my makeup collection, but they aren't any kind of like powder or easy application. They are liquids. So I'm actually gonna take off this foundation really quick and get into my other drugstore foundation. That sucks that that failed, but good thing CVS has a good return policy. So right now we're gonna be taking L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover in the color 309 Caramel Beige. Um, and we're just gonna put this on a beauty blender and I know I literally just said that beauty blenders take a while but this is all I got so please bear with me but like I said I do recommend any type of powder or just like really easy applicator um, just like as that loomy cushion one it just you know the color did not work out for me and that's why I recommend going to Ulta because they usually have like testers even for their drugstore products um, and I went to CVS and they didn't have any testers so I could like not even see what color I was in anything so it's a good thing that they do have that return policy because that kind of sucked so this matches a little bit better it is pretty yellow but I actually I don't know I like this color and sometimes the color isn't gonna match right when you put it on sometimes it needs time to like maybe like soak in some foundations oxidize which means they get darker and we will be layering products such as blush or if you want to add bronzer it can bronze up your face it definitely looks scary right when you put on foundation without anything else on but don't worry because it's all going to come together in the end if you're using foundation that's a little bit darker than your actual skin you definitely want to blend it down into the jawline because you don't want to have like a tan line i don't know i used to see that all the time in like middle school and high school and, like just wanted to like get a beauty blender to their faces and blend it out for them but so as you can see it does take a little bit of time blending this out so that's why I did recommend any powder product so if I were to use a powder foundation you don't really need to set it and honestly like this foundation is drying really well so I don't feel like I need to set it either so we are going to go straight into adding some color on her face I am gonna skip bronzer and contouring because I feel like that is not really beginner so we're just gonna do blush for today so I picked up this elf palette to play around with and I got it in the color dark and I'm gonna be honest guys like this is what the dark said it would look like there's like a brownish tint like an orange brownish tint like it's not like this pink stuff right here and like it literally even says dark on the back so 
I don't know, like maybe their packaging is a little bit off, but oh well, I'm still gonna use it. So that's definitely a little bit of a letdown because I was really excited to try out these pretty like peachy brown shades. Oh well, we're just gonna have to stick to this. So during the summer, you can use like a bronzy color or a peachy color, but in the winter, I do like to go for like a little bit of a darker color. So I'm gonna take the darkest mauve color and start up here and move down to the cheekbone. So next we're gonna do our eyebrows, and this is actually an optional step, but I do highly recommend it because I look back on my pictures now where I had a full face of makeup and forgot to do my eyebrows and it just looks very incomplete. But if you do have pretty thick eyebrows, you can skip this step. But for me, I could use a little bit of filling in. So what we're gonna do first that is so important is to clean off your eyebrows with some Q-tips. I just quickly put them in my mouth and then just kind of go over my eyebrows just to make sure all the foundation is off of them and when you do this you can see that there's a little bit of foundation that was actually on them so for brows I highly recommend any brow pencil that has a very very small tip I don't really recommend any gel eyebrow products or dip brow or anything like that because you could easily make them sharpie brows so when you have like a little point it's very easy to do light strokes this is actually the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz but there is a dupe for this which you guys can get at Ulta or anywhere that sells NYX. It is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. The only thing is that I think this ABH one glides on better. I feel that the NYX one is a bit dry. So if you did want to splurge and get this one, it's just like maybe $9, $10 max more. So I do recommend splurging on this and I am in the color dark brown. So I just start at the bottom and kind of just go in with really light strokes. Then take it to the tail and then we're going to go on the arch and start filling that in. I'm pretty sure the next one comes with the spoolie on the other side as well and it's really important to just blend it out as you're going through and filling them in. So for the last step of the brows we're going to come up in the front and kind of make that baseline. And then we're just gonna fill in upward, very, very light strokes. So as you can tell, it's not that big of a difference if you look at the undone eyebrow versus the done eyebrow, but it does make a difference in your overall makeup look. Another really easy brow product that you can look into is any sort of brow gel or tinted brow gel. I know Maybelline has some, NYX has some. So if you do have those thick eyebrows already, then you can just brush through and it will kind of create a little bit of a fuller look while holding your eyebrows in place. So next we're gonna go into eyeshadow and this is also an optional step. But today I'm gonna be using this awesome thing that I just discovered at Ulta. It is the Lid Lingerie Matte Eye Tint and it is from NYX. And the color of this Lid Lingerie is in Lidly. 23. Basically you just apply it to your eyelid and buff it out and it is literally like a smoky eye in like two minutes max. It is actually amazing. I've been using this for an everyday look because it's so quick and easy to apply. I will say it does dry fast so make sure to do one eye at a time. So we're just going to take it on the eyelid, make sure it's a nice even coat. And then we're just gonna blend it out into our crease, so don't worry about applying the product on your crease because we don't want this product to go too high up. You could use a beauty blender, but I'm just using this little triangle thing that they sell in like mass packs at like Walmart and stuff. It's literally that fast, guys. Like, as you can see, it gives you a little bit more definition on this side than it does on this side. So I personally really love this product. So to finish off the eyes, we do need a little bit of mascara. So I picked out two of my favorites and they both actually are from Maybelline. The first one is this Lash Sensational and the second one is this Cat Eyes, the Colossal Volume Express. So this one is really great for volume and just separating out lashes. And then this one I like to use for my lower lashes and also to give another coat on my top lashes. So mascara can get a little bit messy but a little life hack is to look down when you're doing top mascara and to look up when you're doing bottom mascara. To make your lashes thicker, go behind the lashes and just roll the brush downwards. 
You can definitely stop here with your top lashes or do a couple more coats. I personally love thick lashes, but please be careful with this because you do not want clumpy lashes. So I do recommend finding like your favorite mascara that separates lashes really well. So now I'm gonna take my cat eyes and do my bottom lashes. So now the eyes are finally done, we can move on to lips. As you can see, there's a little bit of foundation on my lips, so I personally love to just get like a towel or a makeup towel that you use every day and just scrub your lips. This helps get rid of dead skin and it also helps to get rid of all that foundation on your lips. So this can create a clean and nice base for us. So I just scrubbed my lips, now it's time to moisturize them. I love my EOS balm. I've been obsessed for a very long time now, I always have one on me. You can totally stop at this moisturizing step and call it a day, or you can add a hint of color. I'm going to be using this one today, it is the Revlon Ultra HD Gel Lip Color. This is in the color HD Dessert and it is 710, so it's going to be a really natural lip color. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned some cool makeup tips. It was kind of fun to see how bare minimal I could make this makeup routine because if you know me, I can spend hours doing my makeup. If you guys are interested in any of these products, then I will be linking my blog post in the description below that will have all of the direct links to these products. Comment down below your favorite drugstore foundation because obviously I need some help in that department. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!